we are having real church. This is the churchical triumphant here. We're having church because we're trying to express, you know, you, and, and each one teach one, you know what I'm saying, what thus saith the word of the King of Kings and his Christ, right? Um, okay, Psalm 65 and 5, right? He says, by terrible things in righteousness will thou, the I, answer us, answer I and I, O God, O Jah of our salvation, who art the confidence of all the ends of the earth and of them that are far off upon the sea, right? Um, and, and then it goes on to 68 and 19. You know, Psalm 68 is very, is very, very important, too, for us. I mean, in so many ways. It says, blessed be the Lord, blessed be Adonai or Adonai, blessed be Yahweh, blessed be Xiaobi here, who daily loads us loadeth us with benefits, even the God of our salvation, so the God of Yeshua. In other words, God the Father, Yeshua the Son, the Holy Spirit, the Word. When we're speaking God's words, right, we are speaking Holy Spirit. But when we're speaking our own words, when we're speaking our own ways, right, then we are speaking the unholy spirit. We're speaking the spirit of the world. Right. You see, so in a, in, in a simple application sense, right, in a simple way that one can look at the application of it, it is so wonderful, but it's also so, so, so it, 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 it is dreadful, too, in, in a sense. Because if we're speaking yeah. our own words and calling on Rastafari, then we're ones who have been called, but we still have yet to choose, you know what I mean, to choose his... Yeah salvation so his majesty remember what says that god will shorten the day in time he will shorten the yeah. day in time because if he did not shorten the day in time none of not even the very elect would be saved isn't it interesting in what time period that his majesty came and all of the signs that were shown right at that time now we boast in that as rastafari yes him show the world the league of nation get drop kick and all of that, yeah. right? Now that's true, but we're forgetting the more the more spiritual message for I and I that really turns up the whole crux of the God of this world. I mean, we already know that His Majesty is the Black Christ in the sense of He is that yeah. Black Anointed King of Kings uh, upon the throne of David, Solomon, Sheba. You know the whole story. We get frustrated because many of our friends and family, you understand, refuse to receive it, but I, I, I believe or I think that they refuse to see it because we still are walking funny. Our I conversation so is still I, not all right. And that doesn't mean that... Exactly. I mean, That's because... Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm sorry. I thought about that myself. I said, because there was a time when... Mm. And I don't say that to the point of order, but there was a time when, um, you know... It's just stages, you know, but at the same time, I can recall times that I was firm in the word and, and it started, yes, there was oh. a word that went up against me, but I was walking in my integrity. So then, and therefore, um, and when I say my integrity, I'm talking about the integrity of the Most High, yeah, Yeshua, you know, and and I, I see the difference because what happens is... Um, you know, again, that lack of obedience when something happens and that obedience uh, subsides for the moment or um, different things occur where you, your emotions come in and, you, you know, you're not as grounded or as rooted or maybe you never were and, and let's all. simplify And let's simplify obedience for ourselves and whoever okay. might be the hearer. The obedience, okay. right, the obedience it means to hear. From a Hebrew perspective, obedience means to hear. And something I had mentioned, I think, to another sister that I was ministering to, I had said to her that um, isn't it interesting that when you look at what happened with the Israelites in the sin of the golden calf, right, when we look at what happened with the Israelites, the key thing that we always miss over, and even with the Garden of Eden, I, I was listening to Joseph Prince, and he was, he was speaking on the Garden of Eden and the tree and everything. And he touched on something that I have to admit, even though I didn't want to come thinking like, wait, didn't I know this? And, and, and I, I knew another part of how the devil or how Satan had tricked 
you know, had tricked Adam and Eve. But if you really look at what Eve says, Eve says um, that, the, that the tree of knowledge and of good and evil are in the midst of the garden, right? But if you go back to what Yahweh says, he says the tree of life, which would, which would be the cross of Christ, is in the midst of the garden. But she says, in a way, she makes a lot of errors because it's like, it's like we hear the word, but then we'll reinterpret the word in the situation. And then when we're in an actual situation many times, right, we are not, um, we are not on point. You, you, you know what I mean? We're not equipped. Um, um, we're not equipped. Some of us are not equipped, but then some of us are, 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 are downright lazy, and we follow right. our emotion, so we, we would answer a situation the way that we would have answered it before we say that we are saved or we've received the true right. gospel of his majesty. We would still answer it from our, more, from our worldliness, you understand, right. instead of from his word or from, you know, from his word or from his way. So the Israelites said this. The Israelites said, we will hear, right, we will hear and... No, no, they said we will do and we will hear. We will do and we will hear. Now think about that. I've been teaching on this point. We will do and we will hear. This is a lot of us too. A lot of us as Rastafari are the ones that says, I and I do job work, and then we'll listen. Then we'll hear. And, and the only thing we're hearing for, the only thing we're listening for, you know what the only thing we're listening for? The only thing we're listening for is, um, is approval. The only thing we want to hear is approval. It's like having a child, and a child is saying, and a child is saying to you, um, "Yes, mommy. Yes, daddy. Yes, auntie. Um, I'm gonna do it, and then I'll, I'll listen. I'll listen. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll listen." Now that's the wrong order because first you have to hear, right, and then you know, then you do. But most of us are trying to do our own works, and then we want to hear approval, right? from God, but that's what we don't hear, and that gets us upset, but it's really all our own fault. You, you, you know what I'm saying? So when I, when I caught the fact that, that the Israelites had said first, we will hear, I mean, we will do, we're going to do, and then we'll hear, the Holy Spirit taught me that is exactly what happens in our psychology. What happens in our psychology and the psychology of human beings is that we are going to do things to be pleased, right? You know, our own righteousness, like our own righteousness, like filthy rags. We're going to try to work our own righteousness or what we have done that proves that we're a good person. We've fed people. We've helped people out. We've helped our friends out. We've helped a lot of people who then turn against us or whatever. And not saying any of that is wrong, but for us, right, who, who admit in Christ and, and who say we're of his majesty, that is not the... That is not the discipled or the disciplined way to, to, to walk in. I just did a series, a series. I got to post this up there. I just did a series on disciple and discipline. My, my earthly had a, had a book, that she, a dictionary that she had must have borrowed from one of her sisters, and I saw it there, and I picked it up. And the first thing I opened to just about was a disciple and discipline page. And I started to wow. read it, you know, the definition that was there. And I saw how... You know, it, it reflected much of what I was teaching, but I liked how it kind of simplified it, you understand, even more so. And I said, I said, Mommy, you know, I said, uh, I said, Emma, let me, let me hold this. I'll bring this back to you before the end of the night. So, so in, the, in, the, in the two or three part on Rastafari, discipline, and, and, and disciple and discipline, I kind of was. I saw, I, I saw. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I think you saw the first or second. And thank you. I got, I got to post up the next part, right? I got to post up the next part of that as well, um, because something I have on the board still here. I haven't even cleared, you know, I haven't even cleared the board, um, the, the the white dry erase board. So, so see if you can remember this or take this down for a moment. That discipleship or discipline of God has has a two part. There's a two part to discipline. There's a duality. There's a divine duality, right? Um, you know, like father and son, you know, like, um, like, 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 uh, father and son is one of the dualities to it. We could say heaven and earth. We could say God and man in that sense. And remember, there's no mediator between God and man, only the man, Jesus Christ, 
right? Because just as Christ is the word of God, right, is the word of God made manifest. And now how do we as sons and daughters be born again? It is only through that same word incarnating in us, not reincarnating. See, reincarnation means returning into the same flesh, like somebody lived a long time, they died, and somehow yeah. they come back in the same flesh. But That's incarnation. Incarnate, uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Incar- incarnate means that when you meditate on the word of God and you receive the word of God and by and by yeah. over time, you now are not reflecting your own way, but you are actually reflecting God's word. In other words, God's word. In fact, um, James has a verse where he says um, to receive in us, right, to receive in us the engrafted word, which is able to save our souls. Right? Yes, right, to receive the engrafted, and I looked up the word graft, right, and the engrafted um, word, right, the engrafted word actually means the implanted word. And right. I, was, I, I was looking in, the, in his Majesty's the Amharic Bible, and you can even look it up in the, in the Blue Letter Bible or the Word software, and you go, when, you, when you click on the word, like the root Greek or the root Hebrew word, and you can find out that King James or the translators chose certain words to translate it to, but then you can look right. at what the Hebrew word here, I got the verse right here, James 1 and 21. It says, wherefore, wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity, like superficialness of naughtiness, and receive, that word is Kabbalah, Kabbalah, right, to, to receive, and receive with meekness, the, the humility, the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls. Now, when you understand what the soul is, when we understand how precious and what the soul is, our mind, and yeah. to put it in two parts, the soul is our mind and emotions. The yeah. soul is our mind. So whenever we find our mind and emotions going off of the reservation, then we have a soul problem. Something is wrong with, and does it, listen, you could be up against Satan himself, but if you have the word of God in you, Satan is going to have to flee. You, you could be petite, you understand, and the devil could appear as a giant. If you, once you have the word of God, Satan will flee from you, you will overcome, just like David overcome Goliath. And notice what David did. When David approached Goliath, he wasn't thinking anything about what Goliath was saying. He basically, he basically just testified, and he showed faith there. He, he didn't see Goliath um, um, beheaded and, 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 and defeated. You understand? He didn't physically see it, but he spiritually saw it, right? And he did not look at the obstacle of Goliath, of the Philistines, of how tall Goliath was. So it, it, it's like when the Israelites spied in the land of Canaan and Joshua and Caleb came back and they said that, 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 that the giants are bred. I mean, read it again when Joshua, the spies came back. Joshua and Caleb said, Joshua said that the giants we saw like bread, but there were ten other witnesses that said, oh, no, 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 we can't do it. And the people chose the 10, and you call this democracy, that was democracy then. They chose the majority opinion, and the majority opinion caused the, 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 the Israelites to wander in f- right. for 40 years and to lose yeah. down their blood. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of his imperial majesty and black people's history in America, and the Negro black man's history in oh America. My goodness. His, majesty so was in, his majesty was in D.C., during the time of the Brown versus Board of Education, we see him right there. He, he spoke before the joint session of Congress. He testified. Even Eisenhower said of Haile Selassie, said that his majesty, who didn't have a, like really a formal education compared to the West, taught Eisenhower things that he should have already known already. No. And the same with, well, now with Kennedy, I, I noticed with, I saw how Kennedy treated him. I, I found some footage, um, uh, 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 a good amount of footage on, uh, well, I watched the world tour. I was able to see the world tour. Uh. And I, yes, and I saw how this little man of small standard with, uh, I mean, he, when you talk about how his name will be terrible, 
Jeroboam and Jeroboam. 